Umar, what was the original reason that you came to the Goldberg Clinic? The reason was uh, I had to study, you know, I, I went to a lot of places, you know, where they could just say, oh, it's just a problem that, you know, you need to leave with. And, uh, what what did they call your problem? It's uh, ankylosis, arthritis with uh, ankylosis. They called it an ankylosing spondylitis. Spondylitis, yes. That's right, ankylosing spondylitis. And how many years did you suffer with this? I would say uh, around five. About five years. And I know you were receiving medical treatments in the United States. Did you receive medical treatments in, in Russia or Turkey or Uzbekistan? No, in Russia. In Russia, you also received it there. Mm -hmm. And what, what did they do for you in Russia? <clears throat> they did not do anything, I would say, in Russia. They were just giving steroids, you know, to just uh, kind of uh, keep that calm, that uh, inflammation. Right. And uh, it, it was just working for a period of time. When you did you actually quit, get, did you get any healthier while you were taking those? No. no. Just, and what was, was the... You wasting time. You were wasting time. What was the uh, treatment program here in the United States from the doctors you saw? With the uh, doctors, they would just give uh, painkillers. Painkillers, uh huh. That uh, it would just keep that, you know, pain that whatever time. I was taking like two pills, sometimes three pills a day. Of painkillers. Painkillers, yeah. So tell our audience what this is ankylosing spondylitis which I was diagnosed with myself about 40 years ago, recovered, um, is a form of rheumatoid disease. It's closely related to what medical doctors call rheumatoid arthritis. In this particular case with ankylosing spondylitis, the major features of it is that it's an arthritic rheumatoid inflammatory condition that primarily affects the spine. And that would be all the way from the cervical spine to the neck, all the way down to the tailbone. And I call it ankylosing because over time what happens is the individual vertebra, the seven in the neck, the 12 in the dorsal spine, and the five in the lumbar, gradually rather than the individual vertebra, they start to join together. Calcification forms, we call bridging, uh, between the various vertebra. So in a very advanced case, the person actually has, instead of the uh, individual vertebra, they have now become almost like one solid bone. Uh, in, a, in a very advanced case. And indeed, in uh, Umar's case, you've had some ankylosing that took place. And we have some uh, pictures that will be interspersed with this video that actually will show uh, the uh, uh, photographs of Umar and, and how rigid that he was and what he looked like when he first started with us. And it's also a very painful condition because you can no longer, as these vertebrae tighten, the soft tissues of the body are affected also, and a person ends up with a great loss of mobility and a great deal of suffering and pain. The medical approach for this is to use drugs, as with other conditions. In this case, generally, uh, uh, steroidals, corticosteroids, prednisone, uh, anti-inflammatories, uh, and in some cases, the immunosuppressant drugs such as the TNF-alpha blockers. Um, but the um, condition is, is considered medically to be incurable and progressive in nature. So Umar, we saw you back, it was originally in September, and uh, a couple months later we started you on a program. Can you can tell our audience what has been your progress, uh, and how much improvement you've had in your general condition uh, during that period of time? Usually with this, uh, you know, disease, uh, I had Really, I gained too much weight. I lost that weight. How much weight did you start uh, at? I started with 197. 197. And now I'm in 157. 150. So you've lost 40 it was, pounds. It was 155 at home, but when I came here, it's 157. <laughs> Something is wrong somewhere. So uh, I lost 40 pounds. Uh, I would say my shoulder, my left shoulder, uh, my right shoulder was upper than the left shoulder. Now it's just getting even. Now, so your spine is, yeah. your skeletal system is starting to even out. Mm -hmm. And uh, my pain, uh, before I was, like I said, I was taking probably two, three pills a day. So uh, I quit taking those uh, painkillers. 
and those painkillers are not like ibuprofen or something they're really strong and uh, I quit taking those uh, painkillers uh, my pain reduced and uh, it's just kind of uh, so even without the painkillers now you have much yeah, less pain yeah I have uh, less pain uh, and uh, with the motions it's just getting step by step like a little bit better and better week by week you're getting more and more motion back in your spine <clears throat> and as you know and other audience know we don't treat disease we build health and after analyzing them more carefully through his history and through his physical exam and by appropriate lab testing, we set him on a program not to treat the ankylosing spondylitis because treatments we don't believe are effective, but rather to build his health. And as his health has improved overall, people are saying that he looks like a, a decade younger, he's had greater mobility and much less pain, even though now he's not taking any more painkillers. Thank you so much for doing this video with us. There's so many people that are suffering with various rheumatoid disorders, including ankylosing spondylitis. I was one of them. Umar was one of them. And this is just to show that we don't believe the treatment of symptoms is the way to go with this, but rather to identify what's the cause of the problem, to, to address the causes, provide the right conditions, and then see a restoration of health occur. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Umar. Thank you.